Hello everyone. In this video, I will be explaining you about one of the water soluble vitamin called biotin. Specially, I will be concentrating on biological functions of biotin, causes for biotin deficiency and uh, deficiency manifestations. So biotin is a widely available vitamin and also biotin is significantly synthesized in our intestine by the bacterial flora. Now the function of biotin is it acts as a carrier of carbon dioxide in carboxylase catalyzed reaction. As you know, might be knowing that carboxylases they all belong to ligase, ligase class of enzymes. So basically they will add carbon dioxide to an organic molecule and elongate that particular molecule by one carbon atom. Now there are some enzymes which use biotin as their coenzyme and that is listed here acetyl CoA carboxylase. This particular enzyme is going to convert acetyl CoA into melanyl CoA by adding carbon dioxide with the help of biotin. Biotin is acting as a carrier of carbon dioxide for this enzyme. Then we have pyruvate carboxylase which converts pyruvate into oxaloacetate in gluconeogenesis process. Propionyl CoA carboxylase which converts propionyl CoA into methyl melanyl CoA. This is in the metabolism of odd number carbon fatty acids. And we have methyl carotenyl CoA carboxylase which is involved in amino acid metabolism. So all these carboxylases they use biotin as a coenzyme. Now let's move on to see what all the causes for deficiency of biotin. When you are going to see biotin deficiency. Normally dietary deficiency of biotin is not seen. So because it is widely available in most of the foods that we consume and also it is significantly synthesized by the bacterial flora. Now prolonged consumption of broad spectrum antibiotics which can kill the bacterial flora that can lead to biotin deficiency. Prolonged use of anti-convulsions like phenantoin, carbamazepine, primidone, they can interfere with the biotin absorption and that can technically lead to biotin deficiency. Biotidinase deficiency. So note that biotidinase enzyme is involved in significant recycling of biotin in our body. If there is a deficiency of biotidinase that will also lead to biotin deficiency. And also consumption of raw egg whites. Because raw egg whites has got a protein called avidin and avidin has got uh, more affinity for biotin so whenever avidin is means raw egg is consumed so avidin binds with biotin and it doesn't allow absorption of biotin leading to biotin deficiency approximately about 20 raw eggs raw egg whites need to be consumed to lead to biotin deficiency clinical manifestation so we have four causes for biotin deficiency prolonged consumption of broad spectrum antibiotics, prolonged use of anticonvulsants, biotidinase deficiency and consumption of raw egg whites. Now what are the clinical manifestations that you are going to see? Biotin deficiency as it is needed for carboxylases that we have seen in a previous slide. So deficiency of those carboxylases will lead to multiple carboxylase deficiency which can give rise to organic aciduria hyperammonemia. Some of the signs that we can note here is dermatitis, skin involved. So the inflammation of the skin can be seen. Here hair follicle can be affected leading to loss of hair and that is called alopecia. Intestinal mucosa can be affected in biotin deficiency. It can give rise to diarrhea. Central nervous system can be affected so which can give rise to confusion, depression, lethargy, all kind of neurological signs can be seen there and also immunological system can be affected in biotin deficiency leading to opportunistic infections like fungal infections. So clinical signs seen in biotin deficiency because of the consumption of broad spectrum antibiotics, prolonged use of broad spectrum antibiotics or anticonvulsions. So you can see dermatitis, alopecia, diarrhea, confusion, depression, opportunistic infections. These are all the signs that you are going to see with biotin deficiency. 
that's all about biotin vitamin so it is acting as a carrier of carbon dioxide it is needed by most of the carboxylases except vitamin k dependent carboxylase so deficiency is seen in four conditions that is prolonged use of antibiotics consumption of anti convulsants then the consumption of raw egg whites and biotinase deficiency clinical manifestation dermatitis alopecia diarrhea confusion depression opportunistic infection that's about biotin deficiency i'll come up with other vitamin uh, in my next slide thanks for watching have a good day